you guys how to curl your hair with a flat iron. I get so many requests for this, so I'm excited to do this for you guys. Let's get started. All right, so I blow, when I blow dry my hair, I put a root boost in it, that's all. Okay, so you can see that my hair is a lot shorter. I'll see, okay, so I did cut it. It was pretty long. You're gonna need a wand, all right. You're gonna need a flat iron, and this is by, um, it says GHD, which I think is Glow, um, but I'll put the product name uh, below so you guys can find it. Uh, then you're gonna need a texturizing spray, and this is like some powder to go with the roots to keep it lifted, and then I'm gonna figure out a pomade that I wanna use. All right, so I'm going to section my hair, and if you have thicker hair, use more sections. I have fine hair. So I am going to section this off into this section right here on the top. And then I think we should be okay for the rest of it. So how you use a flat iron to curl your hair or to give you those beachy waves is you take your flat iron you take it around, so the hair goes, okay, so when you have your flat iron, you're gonna put it in and then take the hair up and over and then flip your wrist. And what you wanna do is you want to kind of hold the hair and you literally just take it down the hair. Okay, so just like that. Um, and also too, I'm taking probably like an inch piece and we want this to be more of a natural curl. So we don't want to take super small pieces unless we have super thick hair. So again, I'm just taking it all the way and there you go. So it's actually a little bit more of a, like a real curl. And you can go different ways with it to give it a little bit more uh, differentiation between each curl. So it's a little bit more natural looking. And all you do is put it in and go the opposite way. See how I'm kind of twisting my hands? Now look at, I'm gonna show you something. See, if you get too big of a piece, it's going to kind of fall over the um, flat iron and then it's not going to curl right. So take a smaller piece. Go up, turn until the piece is on top that you're curling. So I like to also hold the curl on the other side so you can kind of control it. There we go. And don't be too afraid to have this kind of be imperfect. We don't want them to be so perfect because we are going for those, that beachy curl. All right, so I'm gonna take this and you can section this and go any way you want to. So flip it, careful, it's really hot, so turn it. Keep a hold of this piece right here and pull it underneath and then hold it as you go down with the flat iron. There we go. So see how we're not making them so perfect? It's just a light curl. If you wanna do a tight, tighter curl, go for it. You totally can. It's just not the look that I'm going for at the moment. So your right side's gonna be harder if you are right-handed. So turn it. Grab it, pull it, and work your way. You wanna kinda of go slowly, but not, don't leave the flat iron in one place of your hair too long because you will fry it off. So there we go. That's the curl we want. See, kind of more of a curl, but it's still loose. So I'm gonna do that all around my head and I'll come back to do this top part, but I'm gonna go forwards and backs and forwards and backs. For the top half, you can just, I don't know, however you want to part your hair. I'm just going to part my hair on the side like this. Yes, my hair is silver blue. It's not the screen tricking with your eyes. All right, so now for the top part, I am going to take a little bit smaller sections. Put it around. And when you're doing this, I just want to reinforce that you're kind of turning the flat iron. So you see how my hand's kind of turning? That's what we want to do. Here we go. Up and over. Okay, so we're here. We're just going to turn. If yours came with a glove or you have a glove from a wand, use it. 
See, I'm just, I'm literally turning the flat iron like I would a curling iron. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. And for the front, going backwards. This piece is kind of easy because it's right up the front. There we go. Okay, so there we have it. So to me, this is just a tad curly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my iron and softly kind of pull these out. Just pull them out just a little bit. Just taking it back. There we go. Just to kind of, you know, lengthen them because it's a little curly for me. Okay, so here's the whole head curled. And I actually really like uh, the flat iron curl, even though it's a little bit harder um, to master. I like it because it leaves the ends kind of straight. You know, when we did the wand in my other video, yes, we can leave the ends out and it'll give it straight um, at the end, but this kind of does it naturally. All right, so this is what you'll probably end up with. Just something like this, loose, kind of everyday kind of look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run my hands through it and break up the curls. Okay, so it's gonna look a little crazy, but you want it to. So I'm going to take my Full Effects with a texturizing spray and kind of spray it all over. Now my hair is super clean. So we want to dirty up the hair. So if your hair actually has a little texture to it, like mine is super soft and limp, but if your hair already has texture to it, maybe it has a little wave to it already or whatever, you are the golden child and you won't need as much texturizing spray. Do you see I'm kind of moving this top section also too kind of around and pushing this through. Now, woo, powdery. That is um, uh, Euphora's dry texturizing spray. I'll put, woo, I'll put all the products in the description bar. Okay, so this is that. And then I'm going to take the Euphora boosting powder I just love these products, and I'm gonna actually kind of put it throughout the whole hair. This will give it some grit. It'll give it some staying power. All right, I'm just gonna kind of do that. It's gonna make it feel dirty, so if you're a girl that wants your hair to feel really clean and, and soft, this look you can do just minus the product, but it won't stay as long. So this is gonna help keep the product to stay all day. Okay, I mean help keep the hair to stay all day. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of separate and put this a little bit into the root. I need all the help I can get in this area. What do you guys think about my blue, about my uh, kind of silver fox hair? It has a little bit of purple in it, it's fun, right? Okay, so now this is what we have. It's a little out of control, so you kind of want to just run your hands through it. Or you can just go like this, hey, do it up, be you, have big hair, right? I think I said in the last video, higher the hair, closer to God or something. <laughs> um, all right, cool, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of break this up a little bit and run my hands kind of through it like this. And this actually will give you quite a bit of volume in your hair as well. And I have layers cut. So a lot of people ask me in my other video, hey, do you have layers? Yes, I have layers cut throughout my whole hair. So that's why I'm able to kind of get this kind of definition. Um, and if you don't have layers, it's totally cool. Your hair's just gonna, the bulk of it's gonna be kind of down here further, which is totally fine as well. But when I have my hair cut, I request layers because again, my hair is so limp. So um, here you go. Here is what it looks like. And again, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna use I don't think I'm gonna use pomade. I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. I don't know, you can totally run pomade through the ends of it though. Like say your hair's a little bit frizzy, you can add like a little serum at the bottom of your hair and just kind of, br uh, Brilliantine by Bubble and Bumble is a great product. You can just run that through the bottom, the edges of, the, of your hair. But I literally just had my hair cut too, yesterday. So that frizz, is gone. And you can add some hairspray if you want to, which I'll probably do at the end here as soon as I'm done, uh, if I'm going out, when I'm going out for the rest of the day. 
But uh, yeah, so that's how to curl your hair with a flat iron. And you can use this on long, short, medium length like my hair, uh, any kind of hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you guys comment below and let me know what you guys want to see, what other tips and tricks and goodies that you want to see. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.